Hey guys, it's Gigi of Gigi Celebrities, and today I'm gonna to be making something I'm really obsessed with, and I know it tastes good because I've made it a billion and ten times. You guys ready to hear what I'm gonna be making? Salmon! Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you all know that I eat salmon every single freaking day of my life. I kid you not, every single day. Now, the way that I cook it is in the air fryer. The air fryer is the absolute tits for cooking salmon. Oh my gosh. Now because I post pictures of my gorgeous salmon on Instagram all the time, people constantly ask me how I make it because it looks mouthwatering. Seriously, when I look back on my old photos and videos of my salmon, I'm like, oh, I want more. So I figured I would make a YouTube video describing exactly how I make it. Okay, so first off, before we start cooking, I have to tell you that the type of salmon you buy makes a huge difference in terms of how it's gonna cook and how it's gonna come out of the air fryer. So the salmon that I specifically use is Whole Foods Atlantic Salmon. Now, I'm sure some of you are like, ew, farm-raised salmon, what are you talking about? Why are you eating that bullshit? Well, let me just be the first to tell you, if I am the first to tell you, that Whole Foods Atlantic Salmon, their farm-raised salmon, is humanely raised. I have done extensive research as to how Whole Foods raises their Atlantic Salmon, and guess what? It checks off all the boxes for me, so I am totally okay with eating this, plus it's fucking delicious. This compared to any of the wild-caught salmons, yeah. No-brainer, this one's king, even though it's not king salmon. <laughs> plus, this one right here is far cheaper than any wild-caught salmon you will ever get, so really it's like a win-win situation. That being said, if you wanna know the information in regards to how Whole Foods raises their farm-raised salmon, I have links to all of that in the description below, so go on and check those out after you watch how I air fry my salmon. Now the only other type of salmon that I love in the air fryer that does a really good job and comes out super fatty, crispy, oozing, delicious, orgasmic, is Trader Joe's Atlantic Salmon. Now I'm not talking about their frozen salmon because that shit's nasty and will not turn out well when you put it in the air fryer. Yuck. But they do sell fresh salmon and I've done research on that salmon as well and it is humanely raised too, however, I still think that this salmon right here, whole food salmon, is the absolute tits and tastes a little bit better than the Trader Joe's salmon too, so this one right here is my winner. And no guys, this video is not sponsored by Whole Foods, however, it freaking should be now, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and look at me holding the salmon like it's a pizza. Okay, so now that I've got the type of salmon out of the way, let's get into air frying this puppy. Oh wait, it's, it's not a puppy, it's a fish. So let's get on to air frying this fishy right here. Let's start frying. Okay, here's the deal, people. I have two air fryers. I have this air fryer and I have this air fryer. Now, I cook salmon in both of them the exact same way, but I am going to be using this air fryer today to show you all how to cook salmon in the air fryer because, well, I feel like more of you have this model versus this kind of model. Now, obviously, you might not have GoWise air fryer. You might have a Gourmia or whatever, but essentially, they all cook the exact same way, so... Hopefully it works for you. Right now all of the heat is circulating around the salmon, making it nice and crispy and delicious and oozing with fat. And this mouth of mine could not be more excited. The salmon is done! Man, those 28 minutes of waiting are like the worst 28 minutes of my life because I'm just like, I just wanna eat, I just wanna eat. But I know that pure perfection is going to come out of the air fryer after those 28 minutes, so I just suck it up and deal with it. I try to like clean the kitchen, I try to put things away, I just try to do a whole bunch of other stuff in order to make the time fly by. Now. Here it is, this beautiful piece of salmon, oozing with delicious fat. Literally every single time I make it this way, it's consistently freaking amazing. Crispy exterior, moist interior, who doesn't love that combination? I know this girl loves 
it. And I don't even put salt and pepper on it. Not until I am actually plowing through this bad boy. Oh, and one thing I have to make note of is some people have a problem with cooking in tin foil. This girl right here has no problem with that. In fact, I love using tin foil because it makes for really easy cleanup, AKA I don't need to clean the air fryer. Nope, not at all. That being said, if you do have a problem with tin foil, well then I highly recommend you at least spray the interior of your air fryer a lot with nonstick cooking spray so your fish does not stick to the bottom of the bucket because as you guys also might have seen on my Instagram, I love salmon skin and if any salmon skin is ever stuck to say the tin foil or the bottom of the bucket, if I ever were to not use tin foil, I would be thoroughly upset. <laughs> yes, I might throw a tantrum, just saying. <laughs> really pathetically true, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is how much I freaking adore salmon. Ugh. And now what I love to do is I actually love to throw some leafy greens on top of this to mix them all up with the salmon fat because nothing in my mind is better than salmon fat dressing. Plus, the fat from the salmon helps you absorb the vitamins and minerals in those leafy greens. What up, guys? What up? Uh-huh. Okay. I gotta go plow through this bad boy right now. I'm literally shaking with excitement. If you guys have any questions in regard to air frying salmon, do leave them in the comments below. I hope you liked this video and I will see you all next week. I have dubbed myself the Salmon Queen and hopefully after you guys make your salmon in the air fryer, you will call me Salmon Queen as well.